I'm Thomas Baldrick at ASH 2014, joined now by the one and only Dr. Essa Oliva from Italy. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for inviting me. Let's talk about AML and the, uh, the elderly mm -hmm. segment. Um, what is the significance of this to you? Well, the AML elderly population is quite, um, it has dismal remission rates. So we, it's a big problem in the community. And um, it is difficult to get them in remission and to keep them in remission. So uh, what we try to do in the best scenario is to give induction chemotherapy if they are fit. Uh, but what we have at the end is at two years, about 10% of patients are actually surviving in remission. So um, what is important is to keep them in remission and surviving longer compared to the younger patients that have much better outcomes. Tell us about your study, what you did and what you were looking to accomplish. Well, this is a phase three randomized trial, prospective, it's a national trial, multi-center. What we, what we did was uh, we randomized patients to receive the hypomethylating agent azacytidine uh, to observe disease-free survival after having accomplished a complete remission through induction chemotherapy and consolidation. And um, we have now done an interim analysis and what we observed is that in 25 patients randomized amongst 88 patients receiving induction chemotherapy. Uh, what we had is a benefit in terms of disease-free survival. Complete remission rates uh, are three times higher in the azacytidine arm with respect to the best supportive care arm. And this means that disease-free survival was not reached, median disease-free survival was not reached in the azacytidine arm at two years observation compared to um, 14 weeks in the best supportive care arm. So this is quite an accomplishment. We also observed eight, 80 weeks of overall survival compared to 40 weeks survival in, in the best supportive care arm. So that although this is not significant, it might be promising in terms of overall survival. You say it's not significant. What do you think the impact is of what you found? Well, I think that when we enroll enough patients, um, the curves will receive the P significant value that we're looking for because it's already a two times longer survival in the azacytidine arm. Um, also in terms of safety, patients are quite are doing quite well. We observed only uh, neutropenia as a grade three, four adverse event in the azacytidine, uh, azacytidine arm. Grade one, two uh, adverse events were equally distributed in, the, in, the, in both groups. So it's well tolerated and it does maintain patients surviving better and longer. Uh, the maintenance arm received azacytidine as a, on a 28-day schedule for the first six months, and then they were receiving azacytidine every two months. So it's even tolerated in, in, a, in a way that patients aren't coming into hospital very often to receive the maintenance treatment. So where does your research take you from here? Well, we are continuing uh, to observe the patients to see whether the uh, overall survival um, will be better in the azacytidine arm. We will be looking for factors uh, that might be predicting response and so we can better select patients for maintenance therapy. Okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much Thank for your time and, and sharing your work. Thank you.